Hey everybody, and welcome to the next Three Ways in Flame. Now this one's gonna be on three ways to warp using splines inside of Flame. So let's dive right in. So first way, I'm just gonna start with some power bars. The first way is to just press D and pull out the distort node. I'm just gonna press F1. I'm gonna go into add spline and you see if I just draw a spline here and press finish and then make sure it's still set to warp. Um, turn off the link source and de destination and keep it to distort. And if we pull along, you can see we can distort based off splines. Um, this way is good. I, you, I like using distort or more just for morphing because um, it's, a lot, uh, it's a lot more suited to morphing in my opinion. Now the second way is um, just using action if we add a new input and just connect him over. And again, if we just uh, go to extended by cubic and vertices and subdivide, this is the second way so we can Distort based off our splines, and this um, this way is a lot more uh, can be a lot more precise, and uh, you don't have to add boundary shapes like you would with the distort node. Again, it just depends um, which which tool will get you uh, what you want. So again, this is uh, the second way. Now, there's a third way. Um, if we just go back to timeline, or I'll, I'll go to tools, and I'm just going to create a new color source. Uh, actually, I'll go color bars, and just go create. The third way is in the filter tab in the tools, which is the warper, which is uh, a tool that a lot of uh, older flame users would know. So uh, it is legacy. It is, you know, it's not a node that lives in batch, but it's still something worth knowing because it's another uh, another tool you can use. So by default, you're in add mesh mode. So right now it's one, uh, one and one for X and Y. And let's just go five. And this is a, a linear thing. So see as we draw those out we get our mesh but um if i reset this and it is at the defaults you see if we do do that it's equivalent um if we just go into move mode just pressing m it's the equivalent of um actually if we do destination it's equivalent of like a a bilinear or or something like that but again it doesn't live in 3d space um again this is an older way of doing things but um perfectly valid again if i reset and put this back to five and then just uh drag out here and again just go into M for a move mode and you see again once we go to destination move you see this gives us a precise way to do it too now I mean personally I usually would use just the distort or the uh, the uh, by cubics in action but this has its own use and can be can be valid and remember if you are doing this technique you'd want to include history um, because you can't actually swap something out after otherwise because this is again using the old tools uh, way um, but yeah, this is um, three ways to uh, do spline-based uh, warping inside of flame. 